How's it going folks? Today we're going to show you what we did to my buddy Brandon's Jason Mitchell Elite Series 2-man ice house. She's insulated so uh, we figured it's pretty nice to fish out of so we figured why not make it a little nicer. So you come on in here and obviously you're going to see we covered up the tub with some plywood and we carpeted it. Both these seats they used to be on a uh, you know things that you could slide back and forth and you could slide them this way on the tub as well. We got rid of those and now we put them on another piece of plywood that's hinged so you got storage underneath each one. And they still also swivel. So this is where Brandon likes to fish here. Really sturdy because we still have the support bar that runs from one side of the tub to the other so there's no issue and it's not going to bow or anything. Uh, it's half inch plywood, right? Half inch plywood. Uh, you still got your uh, your Otter Outdoors rod holders on each side. Uh, and those swivel back and forth. Pretty nice. Obviously it's not going to do that when you're fishing, but you can tighten this piece here. And then you look over here for your bobber poles. You got these. We got these for pretty cheap at the Duluth Ice Fishing Show a few years back. They just clamp on that, and uh, they hold your rod pretty nicely. Anyways, moving from the seats, you got cup holders, one for each guy, which obviously is nice to have so you're not spilling your beer or soda pop all over the carpet. And then right here, you got this center console type thing. We have actually screwed in a pretty big piece. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a big, small tote, uh, or else a big piece of Tupperware. And you've got all your accessible lures. You know, you've got all stuff to tie anything. You know, he's pretty much got everything he needs right in here. You know, you can also throw your phone or your wallet down in here. So you don't have to worry about that going down the hole. Uh, and it's really nice uh, because this still folds flat. And you can use this whole thing as still a center console. So all that goes right in there. And then back here is the biggest piece of storage we got. That folds right up. We're still looking at maybe putting, uh, sectioning it off or maybe turning it into some sort of a rod locker, but for right now it's still nice. You can throw your rod cases in there. And I think we figured we could fit two people's rod cases in there. And I keep four rods in mine, and I think Brandon keeps quite a few in his too. And they both fit in there flush. Uh, another thing, underneath these seats, you've got enough room for a heater, or else you can throw that back here too, but you've got room for everybody's Vexlar, their Markham, uh, you know, clothes, pretty much, you know, everything you're going to need. And then, come back here, this is my favorite part, you got a spot for your propane tank, and you got a spot for a bucket which you can throw all your fish, uh, you know, if you're not catching any fish, you can throw your garbage or your beer cans in there too, but uh, we plan on catching some fish. Uh, that's nice. One thing we might plan on doing is running a uh, propane hose maybe out the front here so the hose doesn't get in the way of everything or else you know you can get a smaller length hose and run it anywhere and put the heater wherever you want. Um, other than that you know there's not a hole you obviously you got stuff like here you got your jacket holder holds quite a few jackets you can throw your hat up there because it's going to stay nice and warm. Uh, you got your light bar that comes pre-installed in this ice house. We ran the wire back here. We just have the wire chilling here right now. You could actually throw the battery in here so it's out of the way, but um, we don't have the light hooked up at the moment. Is there anything else? Um, I don't think so. That sums her up. That pretty much sums it up. But uh, it's, we really look forward to fishing out of it. We haven't yet. The whole piece of plywood's bolted down, so you know there's no issue. And when this thing does collapse, it collapses down, and it really only adds about. 20 25 pounds of extra added weight so it really doesn't hurt that much when you're pulling the thing out onto the lake if you got to walk a half a mile or so but uh yeah thanks for watching and uh if you have any questions on how to build something like that don't hesitate to comment and we'll uh maybe we'll upload something with all the supplies and materials that we use thanks for watching northern outdoors tv